Hi everyone, um, today we're looking at uh, percentage and mainly percentage increase and decrease. So I'm going to take you through a couple of examples and I'm going to show you how to answer some of the questions and some of the emails that I've received as well. So, let's take a look at one example. Let's say for instance, we had a question where we said increase 300 so let's say we had 300 pounds and we want to increase that by 20 percent all right so how can you increase 300 pounds by 20 percent if you don't have a calculator what you, what you can do is work at 10 percent and 10 percent is very easy to uh, figure out all you have to do is divide the original number by 10 so divide 300 by 10 and if I divide 300 by 10 then 10% 10 is 300 divided by 10 that gives me 30 okay and now if I want to work at 20% well I just have to double the answer so 30 times 2 that gives me 60 and that basically is 20% yeah and now, if I want to increase 300, 300 pound by 20%, all I need to do is start with my original number, which is 300, and then add the 60, which is the 20%. So plus 60, and that gives me 360. So that's one method of doing percentage increase. There's another way of doing percentage increase is by looking at something called the multiplier. So, in order to figure out the multiplier, what we can do is, let's move on to another page. Um, Alright, so, how to use the percentage multiplier well in order to use the percentage uh, multiplier the first thing you need to realize is that when something is increased by a certain amount so let's say for instance we had that same example as before we had 300 pounds and we want to increase it by shall we say 20% again. The keyword that you need to understand here is increase. When you see the keyword increase, what I want you to do is add the 20% to 100%. Okay? Which gives you 120%. Alright, so let me just repeat one more time. If you see the keyword increase by a certain amount, I want you to add that 20% here to 100%. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the 100% represents the 300, and what I want to do is increase it by 20%. So what I do is 100% plus 20%, which makes 120%. And 120% can be written as 120 out of 100. Okay? Any percentage can be written as out of 100. So if I had, let's say, 60%, then it would be 60 out of 100. Yeah? So, write it as a fraction, and from there, you know for a fact that 120 over 100 means 120 divided by 100, and if I divide that by 100, it becomes 1.2, and this number here is the multiplier. Okay? So, this is your multiplier. And now, if I want to increase that 300 pounds by 20%, then all I have to do is do 300 times 1.2. And usually, that sort of question comes up on the calculator paper. So, take a calculator. And... So, where's the calculator gone? So we're going to do 300 times 
1.2 and that gives me the 360 that I was looking for yeah so you can see that it's the same answer as the previous one okay now my advice when you're if you're doing the exam and I'm guessing you're doing the calculator paper tomorrow if you if you don't have a calculator use this method here and if you have a calculator and use that method there all right it's a lot quicker um, let me let me take you through one more example and then I'll take you through another example which was uh, it's basically a question that was emailed to me so let's take a look at another question uh, the, the other question that I've got is Larry gets 7% increase in pay and it says he was earning twenty one thousand pounds a year what is his new salary all right so I'm gonna use the method where I use the calculator and I'm gonna use the multiplier here all right now the keyword like I said to you is increase which means that I'm going to add 7% to 100% so 7% plus 100% makes 107% and 107% can be written as 107 out of 100 and I know that when I divide a number by 100 then just take the decimal point by 2 backwards towards the left so it gives me 1.07 and if you can't do that by head you can always take your calculator and do 107 divided by 100 but really you should know how to do this alright so I've got my multiplier so this number here is my multiplier so I'm gonna use that number and multiply it by my original salary and I know for a fact that my original salary is 21,000 pounds so I'm gonna go ahead and say well my new salary is 21,000 pounds times the multiplier which is 1.07 and again let's take the calculator and do 21,000 times 1.07 and my new salary now is going to be 22,000 pounds 470 a nice increase by the way um, so that's how you do percentage increase let's take a look at another example where we're gonna be working percentage decrease okay so I want to decrease 400 pounds by 7% and I'm gonna show you the method that I use with the multiplier and after that I'm going to show you another method where you can use you can do it by hand okay um, so first of all whenever you see the keyword decrease then I want you to take away your percentage so in our case 7% from 100 and 100% take when 7% gives us 93% and 93% as a fraction can be written as 93 out of 100 and then finally 93 divided by 100 is 0 0.93 and this is our multiplier so that's the first step that we have to do now step number two we're gonna look at the number that we're going to deal with so in our case it's 400 
and then we're going to multiply with our multiplier which is 0 0.93 and again let's take the calculator 400 times 0.93 or 0 0.93 gives me 372 so 372 so that's the new price or how much I'm going to have left all right okay now let me take you through one of the uh, email that I got from um, one of my readers um, and it was from Gemma and Gemma said please can you show me percentage increase for example Steve sold his house for 243,000 pounds he made a profit of 35,000 pounds on the price he paid for the house how much did Steve originally pay for the house and I get modeled up with percentage increase and decrease and the multiplying factor that you need thanks okay so let's go through that question quickly uh, I'll just copy that down and we'll see how we can solve this all right so Jim I hope that one's gonna help you out all right, let's move on to a new page all right paste that there okay so all right so Steve sold his house for 243,000 pounds he made a profit of 35,000 pounds on the price he paid for the house how much did Steve originally pay for the house now here before you get started with any questions like that I want you to underline the keywords so the keywords here is that he sold his house for 243,000 pounds and that basically is the new price and it says that he made a profit of 35,000 pound 35 percent on the price he paid for the house okay so basically he bought the house for a certain price and we don't know what it is and he sold it for 243,000 pounds and we need to know how much he paid for the, the house originally so what you can do here is just think of it as a, a way of making an equation yeah so let's say the, ori the original price was let's give it a letter X okay and um, we know for a fact that he made a profit of 35 percent which means that we increased the price by 35 percent okay now if it's increased by 35 percent from the original price like I said to you the keyword increase means that you're going to add 100 percent plus 35 percent and that gives me 135 percent which is 135 out of 100 and so that gives me 1.35 so my multiplier is 1.35 here so coming back to what I was saying earlier we don't know what the original price is okay but we do know that the multiplier is 1.35 and that's going to give me the new price now which is 243 thousand pounds and as you can see here I made a small little equation X which is the original price times 1.35 which is the multiplier is equal to 243,000 pounds which is the new price and now it's just a matter of trying to figure out what X is and if you want to find what X is which is the original price that I'm looking for all I need to do is divide this side by 1.35 and that side by 1.35 because I want to get rid of that 1.35 and it's the opposite operation to times so I'm going to divide by 1.35 here and I'm going to divide this side by 1.35 and I end up with 243,000 pounds divided by 1.35 and that gives us 
So two hundred and forty three thousand pounds divided by one point three five and that gives me one hundred and eighty thousand pounds. So basically the original price of the property was one hundred and eighty thousand pounds. All right, now a common mistake that people would make is say, well, his the new the new price is two hundred forty three thousand pounds, and he's made a profit of thirty five thousand pounds. So what I might do is just do something like x times thirty five percent is equal to two hundred and forty three thousand pounds and x is the original price times 35 percent is the multiplier so like I said to you some people think that they should do that and it's wrong do not do this okay don't write x which is the original price times 35 percent is equal to two hundred forty three thousand pounds and 35% can be written as 0 0.35 as a multiplier equal to 243,000 pounds so x must be equal to 243,000 pounds divided by 0 0.35 if you do that 243 divided by 0 0.35 right you get something like Sixty-nine thousand four, six nine four, two eight five. Now think about it. How can the original price be six hundred and ninety-four thousand two hundred eighty-five pounds when the new price is two hundred forty-three thousand pounds? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So do not do this. This is wrong. Okay. If you ever get a question like that. And I'm talking for Gemma here. Okay. Read the question carefully. Highlight or underline the keywords. Look at the new price. Look at how much profit he's made or how much he's, he's been increased by. So in our case, 35%. And we know for a fact that he's been increased. And you need to figure that out. Okay. So he's been increased by £35,000. And like I said to you, when I'm talking about increase, I'm adding... 35% on 200% which makes it 135% and then divide that by 100 which gives you 1.35 which is your multiplier and then set up a little equation so we did x which is the original price okay and maybe I could have written original price times the multiplier which is what I found here is equal to the new price which is 243,000 and then what I did was I've divided both sides by 1.35 because I wanted to get rid of the 1.35 and have X on its own. So I divided by 1.35 here, and divided by 1.35 here. So that cancels out. And I'm left with just X on that side. And on this side here, I've got 243,000 divided by 1.35. Take the calculator, type this in, and get your answer. Yeah? Well, Gemma, I hope that really helps. And... Um, I'll see you in another video tutorial. Take care, bye.